Hey guys, this is Jake with Bitter at Rambler, and I thought I'd do a quick product review here um, on something that I, I really like and I've had for quite a few years now, and it's, it's gotten me out of a, a couple jams, and basically if I'm going on any trips or anything, I, I don't leave home without it. And that's this little battery power pack that I have. It's made by Xantrix, and the name of it is called the Power Pack 600 HD. They make a couple different models. Um, basically it's just a, a big deep cycle battery that uh, you can charge um, and at home or I think it even comes with a, a 12 volt charger so you can charge it from your car and your cigarette outlet and uh, I'll show you some of the features it has. First of all it's a 28 amp hour battery uh, I, th I think it provides like 600 watts of AC power and I'll show you a couple, well I'll show you all the features on it um, hopefully I don't forget any. Uh, it's got these 320 volt uh, outlets. They have a, a rubber gasket covering on them, so uh, this does have a little bit of a uh, water resistance to it. It's not waterproof, but if you left it out in the rain on accident or whatever, you probably wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, on the side of it here, you have your 12 volt socket. This is also the, the, put, the area where you charge it from. Um, from the car. Uh, this is where your fuse is. Uh, I blew the fuse on it on a trip not too long ago and I didn't have another one. So I bypassed it with uh, um, some wire. I, I wouldn't recommend doing that because if you end up um, doing something you shouldn't do with this and you have this in here, it's going to ruin it. I need to probably this weekend go grab another um, fuse for it. Um, the the battery itself is sealed. Uh, it's non-spillable. Uh, it's an AGM battery, so um, you don't have to worry about it venting or anything like that. Uh, on the back of it, it's got a little alarm clock on it. It's a little, a little AM FM radio. Um, I've, I'd have to say if there was like one weakness to this thing, it'd be this. Uh, these little buttons on here. Um, they don't work all that well. Sometimes you have to push them a couple times. I don't use this feature that much. Uh, it's nice that it's on there, but um, it's kind of a cheap little radio they put on the back. It works fine um, it, if you have a, if you don't have a radio. Uh, I guess you'd, it'd be good for picking up weather stations if you're stranded somewhere or something like that. Well, let's see here. It also comes with uh, these jumper cables here. Um, the jumper cables go in the side of it. You can jump your car. You leave your battery on or whatever in your car. Just plugs right into there. Um, it says it can jump, uh, you know, anything from a, a car battery, truck battery. Uh, they said uh, small RV batteries. Uh, you can charge. Um, and I've done. I've jumped quite a few cars with it. It's nice to be like in a parking lot at the, at the grocery store and somebody's. You know, uh, left their lights on. You don't have to pull your car up and pop your hood and hook your battery up. You can just bring this over there, hook it up to it, starts right up. Um, people are pretty impressed with it. Um, it also has a battery status monitor on it, which is which is here. Um, turn it on for you. It tells you your output power, and it also when you have it hooked up to the charger, it ch tells you your charging percentage of the battery, um, like how far it's charge like you know 90 percent or whatever um, it also has an alarm on it that signals you when it's overheating or it's under an, an, an under voltage condition um, it has it goes beep 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 so you know something's going on um, whatever you're trying to draw too much power from it or it can't provide you know enough power for whatever you want to do with it um, it also has an overload and an over temperature protection uh, for the inverter because this does have an inverter on it. That's why you can do AC and DC um, So it's got a nice little inverter. Uh, I plug my cell phones uh, in my van here. I don't have like um, A cigarette light or anything like that. So this a lot of times sits right in between the passenger and driver seat um, We can charge our cell phones or cameras uh, run laptops off of it and uh, it, It's just it, it, it's does just about anything you need, especially if you don't have like a solar system on your on your rig or whatever. Um, it it kind of takes the place of that. 
and it, the battery lasts for a long time. It's a nice deep cycle battery. Um, it also comes, of course, with the charger to charge it AC, like if you're at home, or you can, it comes with the DC. Um, basically, it's two male ends on a cord. One goes into the side, the other goes into your cigarette lighter. You can charge it that way too. Uh, I think they cost around, I want to say, like $150. So about the price of a, of a nice steep cycle battery, plus you get the inverter, the outlets, everything. It's it's a great little little uh, battery pack for you know weekend camping. I always carry it in my car um, in case I need, I leave my lights on. I'm kind of a forgetful person. So I use that type of stuff all the time. So it's a nice little reassurance for myself. Um, so yeah, about 150 dollars plus shipping. Uh, I think it's a steal for what it does. It does so many things. Um, and yeah, so this is my little product review on the, the Xantrix Power Pack 600 HD. I give it a thumbs up.